Hey guys, got uh, another quick video for you on our i3 and um, thought I'd just show it to you real quick and that's how to check your uh, battery level on your car. And I think it's really important to keep an eye on it uh, in terms of the health of the car as uh, car's battery. Uh, and it's especially helpful if you're gonna go buy one of these and you're curious how, uh, how strong the battery is or what's left. This is uh, maybe not 100% accurate, but at least it tells you a best guess of what the car thinks the battery health is. Real important that the car is uh, as close to fully charged as can be. Uh, the temperature should be at least 60 degrees. First thing you wanna do when you're checking the battery capacity on the car is to turn it on. Once it's kind of powered itself up, you wanna come over here to the left corner lower corner and push and hold the trip odometer button. Took about 10 seconds. Um, if you don't know the VIN, you can go in through the identification here, uh, or uh, you can go look up on the, the dash over here. Um, on the driver's side, uh, there it'll show you the VIN. You take the last five numbers of the VIN, you add them together sequentially, um, and mine is 31, and you want to go to unlock. You, again, push and hold the bottom left button here, code, and you want to punch in your code, which is the summation of the last five numbers of the VIN which case mine is 31. And again, push and hold the bottom left button. And now we wanna look for battery. It pulls up a little menu here. You push and hold this button. We don't really have a tank. This is a pure electric one and you're gonna see, keep pushing this button. I just went by it. I'm going slow because I blazed by it last time. So battery cap a max of 29.6, and this is a 33 kilowatt hour battery with about uh, 22,000 miles on the clock and a little over two years old. So that's pretty impressive for a car uh, that's been pretty much daily driven. Um, however, we've not really charged it with a DC charger uh, much, and there is some debate if uh, you use DC charging a lot that you can actually uh, speed up the degradation of the battery, um, but clearly we've just been um, daily charging ours with 220 charger, and ours is, uh, is is doing extremely well. Once you're done with this, uh, you can, if you want to decycle through other things, there's obviously a German language in here. Uh, push and hold this button again eventually, and it gets you back to this menu. You can look through stuff, but you can't really change anything, which is good. Um, and when you're done with that, then just hit the start stop button on the car, turn the car off, and then you're back to uh, normal when you hit start the next time. Anyway, if you find uh, short videos like this on the i3 helpful, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you have other questions about i3s or things you'd like me to make videos on, uh, just leave those in the comments as well. Cheers.